right where right this now. guy you know, actually is going to go, go 100 miles an hour from point A to point B. Some of those other guys still need to know how to do that and learn how to do that on a consistent basis, but the effort has been phenomenal. What's the discipline like? Well, you know what? He feels like he has a, a second chance. You make a decision when you're at that crossroad whether you're going to falter or you're going to use it uh, to, to push you forward. And that's what he's going to do. He's using his motivation. And uh, he feels that he's obligated to keep the tradition alive here at Ohio State. So he is putting so much effort both on and off the field, getting around these young guys, making sure they understand what Ohio State football is all about. I've been really, really impressed with him and how he's handled this adversity. And he'll be a great example for everybody on this football team how to overcome things. The other guys uh, won five jumping out of me a little bit, Devin. Uh, he's, he's got a little bit of playmaker in him. What's impressed you? He's super explosive and he's a tough kid. He comes from a great program in Madison, in Washington, and uh, he's bringing some of that skill set here. He still has a lot of learning to do, you know, but uh, what he's bringing from a God given. So it's easy for him to sit there and, you know, do all those things. And I always talk about him. You know, T.Y. is working his butt off. You know, he's, uh, he's, he's learning how to use that body. Making sure that you take know, uh, there's been times in the past where he has not used the 6 6 frame, long wings, as to his bench, but that's the thing. Right now, he's trying to use his body as a weapon, and that's been the biggest thing I've seen. How he's playing to fall.